in, uh, in the next part of this webinar, we will have a look at the Tags Editor in the Development Tool. And what we will do here is that we will import tags from the Compact Control Builder running on my PC. And we will also configure the Control Network MMS driver to communicate with AC800M uh, soft controller running on my PC. And finally, finally, we will build a simple user interface to dem demonstrate how you connect tags to objects and demonstrate the communication to the controller. So, in order to add tags, I click on the tags icon. The tag editor will appear on the screen. I will then change to the, to the controllers tab. This is where I define add controllers to the application as well as configure them. To make it a little bit easier to follow, I will rename the controller to ABB Demo. Sorry, ABB MMS. I will add one more controller which is the demo driver and I will name it demo. Next step is to configure the driver. We need to tell it which IP addresses it should communicate with. So I select my APB MMS driver and then followed by settings. I need to define which IP address that my soft controller is running on. So will be 111 like this with the process ID of 2. If you are unsure about settings or if you want to know a little bit more details about the driver you can click on the help button then a, a driver unique help file will appear so we have this kind of help file for all drivers in uh, the software. These help files contains release notes, uh, chapters about addressing, rules, etc., as well as troubleshooting and how to uh, uh, develop applications with uh, a very efficient communication. So this is a very good tool, especially when you uh, configure a driver for the first time. Press OK. I change to the tags column and now you can see that I have one tag called tag1. It's an internal variable right now because there are no addresses assigned to this tag. I could type in an address manually so in the ABB MMS driver it means that I would try to read an access variable called my tag or if the demo driver uses more traditional kind of uh, addressing, I could write D0 for an integer. And there is a syntax check uh, included so that, uh, that whatever you type in is a, is a valid syntax for that driver. However, for the ABB MMS driver, it's not necessary to configure the tags uh, manually. We can just as well import them to the software. You can do that by selecting import, import tags to ABB MMS. And it will uh, automatically connect to the programming software and display the access variables available. And then I can decide exactly which uh, tags that should be imported. In this case, I select all of them. Press OK, and now I have seven imported tags including valves, tank levels, tank temperature, and so on. There's a small routine running in the PLC, in the soft controller, that simulates a very basic tank part. So the next part is that we will build a very simplistic, very simple um, screen uh, that will visualize a, 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 a tank and uh, a few valves. And then you will see how uh, tags are connected to the different types of objects. So I delete the objects in the home screen, open my component library, 
And firstly, I will add a few rectangles like this. These are normal rectangles, but I've prepared them, pre-prepared them with the proper size and so on. I will add a vertical pipe. And I start, as you can see, with all of the static graphics, the tank. I will add a, a small summary picture where we will display the tank level and tank temperature later on. And finally, I will copy and paste the pipes and paste them over here. And I will make the second pipe a little bit longer like this. So now we have added all of the static objects. Next step is to add the dynamic objects, the ones that will update according to the, to the tags in, in the PLC. I want to have two valves. In order to do a valve, it, the easiest is to actually use the multi-picture object. So I select the multi-picture and draw it on the screen. I need to first define which tag that should control which picture that is displayed. I select uh, Vault 2. I add a picture. I need to, in this case, browse for a file. And I select Vault Off. It means that this picture will be shown when the tag value is 0. And then I select Valve On, and it will be displayed when the value of the tag is 1. I can adjust the location a little bit. We will also give the uh, operator possibility to control the valve by assigning an action. Uh, and in this case, it will be a tag action. So when the operator clicks on the object, we will toggle the tag that is connected and controlling uh, which picture that is displayed. I will then copy and paste the valve and just simply replacing it and the tag connection with valve 1. Then we want to visualize the tank level and to do that I will add a linear meter like this. change to the general ribbon tab. I want to do it, create a vertical linear meter. I want to make it transparent and I will remove the scale. Finally, I select which tag that should visualize the tank level. Like this. And to finalize the design I add analog numeric object, this one. I select the tank level tag. I add a suffix percent and I make it transparent. I copy it, I paste it, and the second object will visualize the temperature. So I write C for Celsius and select the tank temperature tag. So, now we will simulate the application again. I click on project and when I click on the green um, uh, icon we will run the simulate uh, simulation and the green actually indicates that we will communicate with all of the controllers configured in the application. And now you can see when I uh, open the valve we start filling the tank and when I open the second one, we start emptying it. And this is with some logic in the, in the subcontroller. So what we pre presented here was how easy it is to import the tags from uh, the PLC software to the, to the application and how you can use the tags and visualize, in this case, a very simple tank park in, in, uh, in uh, the panel builder.